Hey folks, uh, AJ here, back on my workbench, doing another product spotlight on the Luxury Barrel Jet from American Products. A uh, very unique jet used back in the day. Um, if you see this jet in your hot tub or whirlpool tub, you know you have the Luxury Barrel Jet originally made by American Products. All right, the original design was uh, had the scallop look on the outside, very, very famous. Scallop looked used in a lot of whirlpool tubs back in the day. Um, the biggest failure uh, on this jet was this retaining clip that actually held it in place. All right, you can see in this, this one is broken right here. Um, this had a plastic clip in it with a little release tab on the inside, and it had this other tab on the outside that held it into the jet body itself. So very, very common failure that that, that tab would crack and the jet would come flying out of the tub when you turn your jets on. Okay, uh, let me show you the new version of this jet. Very, very nice looking. Okay, they got rid of the scalloped look on the outside and gave it this textured look um, with these uh, diamond cut angles on the outside, which is real, real nice. So this is the new version of the Luxury Barrel Jet. Very, very nice new look. Okay, all right, now we're gonna switch to the body itself. I wanna talk about the body and uh, what you may need to do when you're replacing a jet body in your tub. Okay, first of all, we're gonna look at the uh, the most commonly used one in Whirlpool tubs. It had one inch plumbing for the air on top and one inch for the water on the back side here. Okay, uh, the wall flange looks like this. It has these uh, two holes in the front of it. All right, that is to receive, receive the notches for the tool. Okay, we have the tool on the website itself. It has these two stainless steel studs on it, which fit into those holes. Okay, and when you go to tighten this uh, this wall flange on to your tub when you're putting a new jet back in, you can either use a, a big pair of channel locks on the notches on the outside, or you can use your ratchet set inside there and use your ratchet to tighten that wall fitting back down. Okay, when you're putting a, a new jet body or new wall flange in your tub, um, our recommendation is always silicone, silicone, silicone. Put a heavy bead of silicone on the outside shoulder of the wall flange. Okay, once you stick it through the wall of the tub on the back side, you're also going to put another heavy bead of silicone. All right, thread your bodies together, your body and your wall flange together. Okay, any silicone that squeezes out on the front side, of course, just wipe it off with a paper towel and then clean it up with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, on the back side here, you're going to want to make sure you have a, a nice sealed shoulder uh, of the silicone. It should be the silicone should be touching the jet body here and then come all the way down to the shell itself. So any silicone that squeezes out on the back side when you're putting a new jet body in, um, just fill that up with silicone, wipe that around so it's a nice tight seal as far as that silicone goes. Okay. Uh, if you're changing a jet body in a hot tub, this was the most commonly jet commonly used jet body uh, in hot tubs that used a uh, three-quarter inch barb on the bottom there and a uh, three-eighths barb vinyl tubing on both sides on the top for the air. All right, so that was the body used in the hot tubs, okay? Now, last thing, I just want to show you how the internal goes into the jet body, okay? Um, down in the deep throat of that jet body is a little notch molded into uh, the back bottom of it, okay? And what happens, folks, is that notch is the guide receptacle for this opening here on the bottom of the jet itself. So if you go to put the jet in, you can't get it in all the way, it's because your notches aren't lined up, okay? So you just wanna to, wanna to turn it until you get it down to the bottom, okay? And then that locks it into place. Now what happens here with those notches is uh, you're able to give, give the jet just that little bit of turn. It's an adjustable jet, so you can adjust the amount of water flow coming out of it. So if I turn it all the way to the left like that, you can see down deep in here, uh, it's opened up so it'll let all the water come out of the jets and then I can slowly turn it or turn it all the way off to adjust the amount of water coming out of the jets. Okay, so that is everything that you need to know about your luxury jet barrel in your hot tub or whirlpool tub. Any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call.